my name's Kim. Welcome to Little Patch Garden. Today on my rounds, just giving my garden a check, I have discovered I have snow peas that desperately need to be harvested. So I'm going to show you when the ideal time is to harvest your snow peas. So before we get down here close and personal with these plants guys, I just want to let you know snow peas plants are very delicate and they break really quite easily. So yanking on them is not a good idea. So get yourself a good pair of little secateurs uh, or a knife or something like that that's nice and sharp so that you can cut them off rather than yanking them off. So let's get down here and take a look at these plants. My plants are not overly big this year but they are producing it quite nicely so this will be my first harvest out of here of the snow peas and I can't wait to see how many I get. So I just want to show you when you are actually harvesting your peas to work from the bottom of your pea plants. So you can see this is the bottom uh, where the pea plants start in the bottom. There's been a bit of snail damage in here so excuse that. So as you work up this, the plant itself, um, so this is we're following this one here, uh, you will come across your peas. Now there is always usually two pea pods right next to each other, uh, generally ready at the same time. Um, but as you grow up the pea pod as well you'll come across smaller peas and then uh, when you get to the top of your plant you'll find the pea the, the flowers so when you are harvesting your peas make sure that you start at the bottom and work your way up the plant because uh, that's where all the big ones will actually be and as you can see a lot of my pea pods are really getting quite big um, I didn't realize there was even any peas, uh, snow peas on here and I've missed the opportunity to pick a lot of the small, not um, soft ones. But I'm going to get them out of here and uh, we will still have snow peas. So yeah, work from the bottom of your plant and work the way up. And as the plant gets bigger over the next few weeks, you will get more snow peas from wherever you finish picking as the plant grows taller. Uh, down here I have... <laughs> got some snow peas that I just noticed this morning that are massive. Now these snow peas are they're still edible but they are verging on the point of being way way too big to be eating eating. They get a bit uh, chewy and fibrous when they start to get to this big but they are still perfectly fine to eat. Uh, so this is for me this is oversized if you like to eat them this side when they're a little bit chewier that's fine go ahead but i will show you the ideal time to actually harvest them uh, when they are nice and sweet and chewy the best time to harvest them is before the sun comes up but i was late getting up a bit this morning so so you can see this snow pea to me this snow pea is just a little on the uh, small size now I usually get them when they're about the width of my hand, uh, which is about, this one is probably still a touch too big, uh, but as you can see, he is not, just pick that one, he is not uh, getting, he is just starting to get what you can see, uh, the seeds in the, in the pea pods. Uh, so I like to pick them just before they actually start to, to get their seeds growing their seeds. Now if you let these go to full size maturity, brown off, you'll have more peas for next year, but we're not talking about seed collecting today. So this one is a bit small. Let's see if I can find you a, a good size one where I would be happy to pick it. Uh, again, a bit big, a bit small. I think most of mine are going to be a bit big or a bit small this morning. Oh, here we go. This is my ideal size snow pea. So this is the ideal size snow pea that I like to pick them at. Um, when they're pretty much the, the width of your hand, um, I have smallish hands, but so that is about the ideal. The pea pods are not overly noticeable and they make them nice and sweet and uh, soft and tender so comparison to the pea pod that i believe is too big you can still eat them obviously uh, to a pea pod that uh, to me is exactly the 
the right size that I like to to pick them so you can pick them at whatever size you choose to pick them up but I choose to pick them at that size just because they uh, they're not a lot softer they're not so um, they're not so fibrous and chewy uh, the snow piece I didn't get as many plants this year as I wanted so we're pretty much gonna eat these guys fresh and um, in stir fries and that kind of stuff I'm gonna see what I've got here today and take them up the house these are awesome little snacks. The kids usually like to come down here and pick them out of the garden, um, but they haven't found them yet. So I get to take these ones into the house and see how many they'll eat out of there. But um, yeah, so that is the size you wanna eat them at. About the width of your hand. Um, to me, they get a bit bigger. You get the seed in them. They get a bit too, uh, too, too fibrous and not the best. When you're picking them, when you start getting them in, you need to come down and check every day or every second day, because once they start growing, they just start growing and they keep growing. And you can you can find that a pea will go from snow pea will go from this big to this big overnight. It's almost like magic how quickly they actually grow. So get down there every day or at least every second day. And check your snow peas, go through right through all your bushes, check them out and get them picked. Um, Alright guys, thank you for joining me here at Little Patch. A quick little uh, tutorial on uh, the best time to pick your snow peas. I'll do another video later on in the season when these snow peas are finished. And when it's time to re remove your snow peas out of your garden for the next lot of uh, vegetables to go in. Till then check out these other vids and hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next vid.